Howdy, Corpus Christi! Man, it's great to be back here. Listen, I, I, I want to I want to thank my incredible daughter Audrey for coming out here and introducing me. Uh, give it up for Audrey and her great introduction. And of course, I'm joined tonight uh, by my fabulous wife Cecilia Abbott, the fabulous first lady of the great state of Texas. So tonight, Republicans sent a message. They want to keep Texas, the land of opportunity and prosperity for absolutely everybody, the prosperity that we have delivered over the past eight years. We are going to deliver a Texas for working families who can flourish under the opportunities provided by the ninth largest economy in the entire world. Where students can graduate from high school prepared and inspired to go on to a college or to a high-paying career right here in Nueces County, Texas. A Texas where we support our law enforcement officers who secure our communities. A Texas where we protect your constitutional rights and make sure that your liberties are secured. And a Texas where everybody has the opportunity to chart their own vision of their own promise. Speaking of prosperity, that's what this trophy stands for. This trophy is a Governor's Cup. The Governor's Cup goes to the state that ranks number one in the United States for economic development. This Governor's Cup was awarded to me today at the Governor's Mansion because this past year, Texas is number one for economic development. It is amazing to have won this one time, but the great thing about it, you see all of these? We, we have won them every year that I have been governor of the great state of Texas. But in, in, importantly, these cups, they don't belong to me. These trophies belong to the people of Texas. They belong to the small business owners, the large business owners, all of their employees who work for them is all of them together that have made Texas the best state in America to do business. <laughs> together, all of us, we've created an economic juggernaut where Texas ranks number one not only as the best state for doing business, Texas ranks number one as the best state for economic development, and I'm proud to tell you, Texas is the number one state in America to start a small business. All together, Texas now has the ninth largest economy in the entire world, but the best part about it is that more Texans have jobs today than ever before in the history of our great state. And I am running for re-election to ensure that future generations will get the education they need to be able to achieve their own brand of prosperity. You know, education is such an important part of that pathway. I got to tell you that no governor has provided more resources for our public schools than what I have provided, including a teacher pay raise of more than a billion dollars this past year. But listen, at the end of the day, we need to realize that there is no government program that can replace the role that parents play in the education and health care of their own children. So I'm running for re-election to bolster a parental bill of rights that will restore parents as the primary decision maker for their child's education. Yeah. I'm also running for re-election to create a compact with our seniors, a compact that will cut their property taxes as well as protect them from criminals who seek to prey upon them. This, this... This safety and security for them is so incredibly important. Public safety is important. It's a top priority, but one of the greatest threats to public safety in Texas is the open borders that the Biden administration has allowed to happen in our country and in this state. And so we are not going to let Biden employ those open borders, and that's why Texas has stepped up and done more than any state has ever done in the history of our country to step up and secure our border. Yeah. 
As we gather tonight in beautiful Corpus Christi, we have deployed 10,000 National Guard and Texas Department of Public Safety officers. Give it up for our National Guard and our Public Safety officers. They are arresting hardened criminals who are coming into Texas, and they have seized enough fentanyl to kill every man, woman, and child in Texas, California, New York, Illinois, and Florida combined. We're having to do that because of Biden's open border policies. Also because of Biden's open border policies, Texas is now building our own border wall. And we're building so much more. We're building a safer, smarter, freer, and more prosperous state for everybody. But we must fight to keep it that way because our opponents, they want a completely different Texas. Where, where we have cut taxes, where we have cut taxes, they seek to raise them. Where we have created jobs, they would destroy them. Where we have protected your constitutional rights, they threaten to take them away. Where we have promoted exceptionalism, they stoke fear-mongering. We will not let them win this state. My opponent has embraced the Green New Deal policies that would destroy the high-paying energy jobs that we have here in Texas and that made America energy independent. I am running for re-election to protect those high-paying energy jobs that made America the strongest energy country in the world. My opponent sympathized with the defund the police movement. I am running for re-election to ensure that none of our police officers will ever be defunded, so we will support our law enforcement officers. And my opponent has supported the open border policies that have led to chaos and record-setting border crossings. I am running for re-election to secure our border. And mark my words, freedom itself is on the ballot. My opponent threatened to confiscate your guns. And he even threatened to eliminate he threatened to eliminate the tax-exempt status of churches that refused to bow down to his woke left agenda. I signed a law to prevent any government official at any level from ever closing down our churches, denying you the right to worship God Almighty. And as long as I'm governor, your right to keep and bear arms will never be infringed. Texans face a very profound question this election. Do we take a left turn that leads to more government and less freedom? Say, say how you really feel it. A, a path that would destroy jobs, open our borders, and endanger our communities. Or do we maintain the course that has secured greater freedom, more jobs, and safer communities? I'm running for re-election to keep Texas on the right course, to keep Texas exceptional. But to win, I need your help. To join, to join our movement, go to gregabbott.com, join our team, be a part of the process where we are going to work together and we are going to keep Texas the best state in the greatest nation in the history.